All right, so we're doing a step block isometric. Still point this drawing. It's going to be five inches over to your right. It's an inch and a quarter up. I like to usually measure right on the edges. I know my lines are where they need to be. We take this dot here. Just going to make a little cross hair here. We take this dot here. I'm going to bring it up. That little point that I just made, that little T, is my start point. On my start point, I'm going to draw a light vertical up. I'm going to always make sure my 30 degree part of my triangle is against the T square. I'm going to draw one line up to the left. I'm going to draw one line up to the right. You guys, try to pay attention and not work yet. You got the whole period and you got tomorrow to work on this. So you have plenty of time. Okay, so one, two, three lines. Notice how they were all drawn with the triangle. And the T squared is nice and tight against the side of my board. Yeah, you can't see the lines right now? Alright, so let me darken them up for you. Fathers, when I darken them up, obviously, you know I'm not going to be able to erase them later as much, but I'll do that. Can you see them now, Mr. Dorian? What? Yeah, but. Yeah. Okay. So, those are your three lines you're going to start drawing off with. I apologize, I won't do them as light anymore. Now, the measurements for this drawing, if you were to take your front view and you were to measure the width, it's three inches wide by two inches tall. Each one of these little parts is half the distance. So this is one and a half, and this is one and a half, which is half of three, and this is two. So this is one inch, and this is one inch. So what I'm doing with my side view, the one that's gonna go here, I'm gonna start by measuring my three inches total, and my two inches total up. Take my T-square and my triangle, and I'm going to draw a light line this way and a light line this way. I will darken them up, I promise. Okay? Just drew two lines that match up. Now, all those two lines, I'm going to measure up my one inch in the front. And over on this side, I'm going to measure in my one and a half. Using my triangle, notice how I am parallel with this baseline. And I'm parallel with this line, and this new one-inch line I'm going to draw, I'm also going to be parallel with. The vertical, same idea, parallel, parallel, and then when I come over to my one and a half inch mark, same thing, parallel. I'll darken these two lines up now so it's a lot easier for you to see them. Okay, now. That's the L part of my step block. Step block itself is one and three quarters wide. So I take my ruler right on this side and mark one and three quarters. Now the cool thing about doing this, you can do this very quickly. If you draw some guidelines, take the triangle, turn it around. All the lines we're gonna draw from here are all parallel. They line up with this line we drew initially with the 30 degree angle. So I'm gonna come to my corner here without even measuring. I'm gonna draw some long guidelines out. Now, if you can't really see them too good, that's because they're light right now. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my triangle around so it's parallel to my front view. Notice how it's parallel to the base, and it's parallel to the verticals. What we're trying to do is we're trying to remake this shape. Up, over, up, over. So I come to where I measured my first mark at one and three quarters, and I come up. Where those two lines intersect, I slide over. Draw my line with those two lines at the sec. I slide up and come back and go over. In order to finish this part of the drawing up, I come over and I darken my lines. Now, the cool thing about those extension lines that I drew, those long guidelines, I can use those as my extension lines for dimensioning my drawing. Now, how do we dimension an, or an isometric? That's the next trick. We still do the quarter inch and the half inch spacing. We take our ruler, we place it in the corner, and we mark quarter, and we mark half. But this is how it's cool. You're gonna basically use your triangle to do this 
as a marking guide. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go to my quarter inch mark, I start to draw my dimension up. All right, where my half inch mark is, I slide my triangle over, use my eraser, and erase any little line that goes past the half inch. Spin my triangle back around, line up with the quarter inch, draw my next dimension line, slide it over to where the half inch mark ends, erase the extra. So both of those lines are the same length. Spin it around again. Go over to my quarter inch mark. Draw my dimension line. Slide over to the half inch mark. Erase the extra. One more spin around. Dimension line. Slide it over to the end. Erase the extra. And you got your extension line. Now you put your measurements here, one and one half inches. All right, I'm going to have to erase a little bit in the middle here. One inch, one and one half inches, one inch arrowheads, right? Small pointy arrowheads that point right at the extension line. They're not before the extension line, they're not after the extension line, they point right at the extension line. Two arrowheads should actually touch each other, the ones that are sharing the extension line, like this. All right, the only dimensions I would say I'd want to add to this drawing, all right, I would add in my height measurement here, my width here, and my depth here like this. I can measure from the side, quarter and half, and then I would measure from this front down, quarter and half, and I'll show you why in a second. First, we do these, these ones. I'm going to come over here, quarter inch, draw my dimension line, slide over to half inch, erase the extra. All right, write my dimension in. This is uh, two inches, two inches with the arrows. When it comes to doing these ones down here, this time I slide my T-square up and I work underneath my T-square. Okay, come over here, draw your dimension line. And then when it comes down to the extension line, slide it over, erase the extra. And the cool thing is you can flip your triangle around and use the same dimension and extension line distances without measuring again. That comes to here, this comes to here, erase the extra, use your pencil, and draw in the dimensions. This one will be three inches, this is one and three quarter inches. All the arrowheads are here, you take your eraser, if you have the eraser shield, and you want to erase a little bit close to the drawing so the extension lines have space. Mine didn't have as much space there. You can use this little tool, helps you get closer. Or you can just, if you got a good pencil eraser, use the corner of the pencil eraser, all right, to get really close to your drawing. Is there any questions? Now, this drawing is called the step block uh, ISO metric. Step lock. All right, the start point is five inches over, and it's one and one quarter inch up. Start point. All right, that is your drawing.